Hello everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Google Pixel 7a and compare it against the Google Pixel 6a and see which specific phone is a better one for you. Now what's funny is you probably can't even tell which one is which, they both look very similar and um, you know if I was looking at them I can probably tell but you probably wouldn't be able to tell through the camera. If so if you want to pick up either one of these phones, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there, you can help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off side by side, the Pixel 6a is on my left, it has this wallpaper. The Pixel 7a is on my right with this wallpaper. And both of these phones are basically very similar to each other. There's never been two A phones, you know, from their lineup, their A lineup, that have been so similar in my opinion. Design-wise, they're very similar. On the front of the Pixel 6a, you have a 6.1 inch AMOLED display. And it's a good panel, it's a 60 hertz display. Although I've heard some people will be able to unlock some sort of like 90 hertz panel thing on this thing. I don't even know if that's true or not, but it's a 1080p display. It looks pretty good. I liked this phone when it first came out last year, and I still think it looks pretty decent. You know, I think the design is still fairly modern. It's very hard for a phone like this to look very, very old. I still look at a phone like a Galaxy Note 10 from 2019 as a very, you know, modern looking phone. And this is kind of similar to it. Hole punch display up here, pretty thick bezels for a more modern phone, but this is kind of what they do. They're not thick at all by any means. They're just thicker than maybe like a Pixel 7s or Pixel 6, you know, panel. Not a big deal though. And uh, I think it still looks pretty good. I like this one a lot. The Pixel 7a is more of a successor to it. It definitely still looks very good. Looks very similar to the Pixel 6a already. So you're not really going to be, you know, getting this phone and expecting a humongous jump there. But there is a really cool thing. Although it's the same size display and, you know, same resolution and pretty much the same type of panel, you are getting a 90 hertz display on the Pixel 7a natively this time. So apparently if there was a way to unlock it on the 6a, you can just go ahead and use the smooth display option inside of the Pixel 7a natively now, which is really cool. So I still like the Pixel 7a's panel. I think 90 hertz is still very good for the most part, and uh, it's only a matter of time before we get it you know, on our iPhone 14s, hopefully too. But 90 hertz is great, way better than 60 hertz, and you can definitely tell there's a pretty big difference when using these two phones. If I'm being honest, so that kind of covers it up on a display front. Now, in terms of thinness and thickness, you are definitely getting a similar type of styling again. Like both these phones. Are very very similar here there's not really a massive difference you can also kind of tell with the camera bumps the 6a i like the camera bump because it didn't stick out as much same thing with the 7a the camera bumps aren't really like massively protruding you can also see the sim card trays almost in the same spots on the bottom you're getting usb c ports which is great and basically that's it on the back side though this was something that kind of shocked me so i always thought the 6a had a glass back that is not true the 7a and the 6a have plastic backs but they are pretty decent plastic backs. Like they actually do kind of, if you like just kind of rub your hand across the back of them, you could pass this off as kind of decent, maybe like cheaper glass. My Pixel 7a keeps restarting, which is very weird. But that was something that was very cool on the Pixel 6a that, you know, just felt kind of like glass, which was crazy. The 7a, again, is plastic as well as the 6a, but that was kind of shocking. You can definitely tell the design of the 7a's, you know, type of you know, camera bump on the back is definitely not as, uh, sleek. I would say this one looks better than the 6a, but they're both kind of their own thing, I guess. I don't even know. You have this little like top part up here. You are getting wireless charging on the Pixel 7a, which is nice. You're getting IP certification on both of them, which is great. No reverse wireless charging on either one of these. And I think both of them are very good. You know, I like these phones a lot. I do think the Pixel 7a is probably the better one though, just because of the 90 hertz panel, but they're both very, very similar in that standpoint. Now, software and longevity is going to be pretty easy between these two. You have to remember that the 6a has a year older chipset than the 7a. So because of that, you are going to be probably be getting a longer supporting phone, longer supported phone on the Pixel 7a than on the Pixel 6a. That's kind of how these things go. Definitely not that big of a deal. It's kind of how these things happen. And I think that's totally okay. And that's honestly how it should be. If you're getting a more expensive phone or a newer phone, you should be expecting this type of newer phone to last a little bit longer. So totally fine with that. That totally makes sense. Now, let's go into a speed comparison between both of these phones. The Pixel 6a has that Google Tensor G2 chipset inside of it with 6 gigabytes of RAM, where the Pixel 7a has that Google Tensor G2 chipset inside of it with 8 gigs of RAM. So let's go and see which one's the faster one between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background except for this one, and we should be good to go. So let's get into it. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. Okay, 7a is here, Pixel 6a is here. Google Messages, 3, 2, 1. Okay, kind of the same thing. Let's go and hop into these two. Camera, three, two, one. 
So this one wants to keep going on night mode. The other one here is not. Maybe it's maybe due to the sun or something. I'm not too sure. Play store, three, two, one. Okay, I think the 6A actually was a little bit faster there. Scrolling through. And they're both kind of seem to be a little like glitchy a little bit. Not a big massive deal, but it's kind of okay. Hopping out of these two. Let's go and get into some of these other applications. We have a lot of them. Temple run, two, three, two, one. I don't even know why we had that pop up there in the first place. It really shouldn't have happened, to be honest. And you can see the 6A kind of does seem to be a little bit faster here, which is pretty insane. The Pixel 7A a little bit slower. Could be due to a lot of reasons. I have no idea why that even were to happen. So let's do stack, which I don't even have here. Let's do snake first blocks. Three, two, one. And roughly around the same thing, not the biggest difference in the world. Let's go and do Bofa, three, two, one. Basically the same thing too. Dropbox, three, two, one. Okay, I think the Pixel 7a was much faster there, but it looked like it was like two different panels. Quizlet, three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing too. Let's go and do Twitter, three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing. Let's go and do Facebook, three, two, one. Pixel 7a was faster there. Let's do Snapchat, 3, 2, 1. The Pixel 7a was faster there too. Instagram, 3, 2, 1. We are sliding through these. 6a was faster there. Very weird. Don't know why that happened. Genshin Impact, 3, 2, 1. Now, like I said, this is a pretty big game. So we'll just wait until it glows into the main panel. But I will definitely tell you between these two phones, very good. I think the Pixel 7a is probably more times the faster one. But it is really weird to me how the 6a is still faster in some areas and sometimes than the Pixel 6a. Like that kind of stuff makes no sense to me at all. And it's just something I guess we're just gonna have to deal with, but it's just like one of those things that makes zero sense. So that kind of covers it up there. Now hitting on the camera quality on the back of both of these, I've always felt like between both of these phones, very similar, I've been testing it, not massive differences. You're getting 4K on the back of both them, 4K at 60 I think on the back of both them. You're getting 4K at 30 on the front of the Pixel 7a, which is pretty big. I think the 6a's camera, it's still pretty good though for the most part. Like it's not a bad camera. I think they did a pretty decent job with what they had at the time. You have to remember that with the Google Pixel, you are getting things like, you know, the very stock type of camera layout. So it's not like going to explode your mind in any way. You're getting 0.66x zoom there. You're getting 7x zoom here. And you're getting portrait mode and night sight, video, standard modes right here. Like it's a pretty good camera. Is it perfect? No. I mean, the Pixel 70's camera is not perfect either. But I do think for the most part, Google did a good job with the Pixel 6a camera. And I think the 7a's camera is definitely an improvement. Like I do think it's improved in some areas for one. You are getting a few more resolution. You, you can zoom in and zoom out a little bit more. So you're getting that 0.5x zoom, which is pretty nice. So you can zoom out 0.5x. You're also getting 8x zoom, so you can zoom in 8x. So that's something that's really important. Something I actually do like about these types of devices as well. You're getting portrait mode, long exposure night sight, you're getting video mode, you're getting more modes here. It's a very good type of camera and I, it's, it's a good camera, it's a better camera than the Pixel 6a. It's a perfect, probably not, but I do think Google did a decent job with this type of camera when it came down to it. So overall what I'll tell you is I definitely do think that the Pixel 7a is a good upgrade coming from the Pixel 6a. It's definitely not perfect though, but I do think Google did a good job with this phone and it gets a thumbs up from me, you know. I think this is a good upgrade. If you have the money, go for this one. But if you want to save a lot of money, you can just buy a used Google Pixel 6a. You can save yourself probably hundreds of dollars. And that might be a better choice for a lot of people out there rather than buying like a brand new Pixel 7a or something like that. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.